This video is all about helping you go from this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, on the ground, a second might be two. To this. Get down, down. Get down for me. I love Conde. Here's Shohei Otani. Oh, you're him. You're him. Oh, yeah. See you later. Over half my about. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Let's crack Let's go straight it. into it. One of the most important things when it comes to hitting is pitch recognition. And the best thing you can do for yourself as a hitter is to focus on the bill of the cap. Here's why. The time it takes for you, if you're looking at the pitcher's belt, which is where most people will look, they'll look middle of the screen. You're going to first pick up the ball here when it's just behind his ear. Now, Shohei Otani is a little bit of a glitchy delivery, so you're actually gonna see his arm bend in a really uncharacteristic way. But most pitchers, it won't look like this. Here's his release point. Here's Shohei's release point on a fastball that's uh, middle up in a way. It's, it's in the upper right corner of the strike zone, but on the low end towards the middle. So here's the release point for Shohei, and if I'm looking at the bill of a cap, I have a lot less movement for my eyes. It's a much quicker and easier transition for this fastball, which comes straight at me. Now let's take a look at what a slider will look like. So this is the slider, and basically the release point's gonna be the same right here. Unlike a fastball though, it's gonna kind of go up ever so slightly up. It's going to kind of just go a little bit up, and then it's going to curve away. Uh, that's usually the big tell for a slider, and it's also one of the reasons that sinkers are so nasty. But I'll get more into pitch recognition in a different video. But for a general sense, if I'm looking at the bill of the cap, I have more time to see this pitch here. As soon as you see that ball rise upward, you pretty much know it's an off-speed pitch. And, and as you get better and you see more pitches, you'll start to notice that. That's the key for being able to recognize pitches, but what's the key to timing them? Let's take a look. So one of the first things I wanna talk about when it comes to hitting an MLB The Show is cameras. A lot of the really incredible hitters in this game, the highest level players, they're gonna use strike zone, which is this super close up view of the pitcher. And it basically puts the strike zone box right here for you so everything's kind of just right here in this spot um, the only issue with something like that is it can be a little difficult especially if you're not somebody who is as elite as some of the top players in the game to read pitches that way so personally i'm a really big fan of zoom hitting which puts you at about right there. The pitcher's a little bit um, further away, but you just saw that slider and then, down and in to Mets. Mike Trout. I want to show you what it might look like a from a little bit further away. Okay, so with the <clears throat> with the quick camera thing out of the way, I would really like to show you something here, and that is how hitters time pitches. Did you catch that? The big key here is that hitters generally speaking, will time the pitch up perfectly. So let's take a look at Mike Trout, who doesn't have the same leg kick as he used to, but he's still got a little bit of a kick here. So he's gonna pick that foot up, and when that back heel drops, you're gonna find about right there, when he's in a full set position, if you were to swing here, you would either be just early or perfect, which is right where you wanna be for hitting, and you're gonna smash that ball. Okay, so here's a pitch that I ended up shooting into left field for a single, and I had the timing of just early. It was just, just in front of perfect. And I wanna show you how Mike Trout's gonna put his foot down. And as soon as that back heel hits the ground, just like I was talking about earlier, you know he's in the ready position. But you can see I started it a little bit earlier than when I originally showcased this. This was also a fastball. So here comes that pitch. His heel starts, I was just early and I got perfect barrel on it and I rifled it 100 miles an hour plus in the left field. Now, if I'm a little bit underneath that, that could be a double, maybe even a home run, even though I was just early. So like I was talking about, when he does his leg kick, this is why people really love the hitters that have a big leg kick or an quote unquote easy to time stride. This is exactly what they're talking about. Um, the hitters will always time up the pitch perfectly every single time. So that's a really good example of that. Now, what if they don't have a leg kick? Like Shohei Otani. So here's a high fastball from DeGrom, and I want to show Shohei's toe tap. So when he toe taps, he's doing the same thing. He's going to curl up, 
and he's going to flatten out. And as soon as that heel hits the ground, right there, I should be swinging. So toe tap and go. Now you're probably thinking, well, you don't get to see the side view on these hitters when they do that. No, but this is one of the biggest reasons why I use zoom is because if I'm really struggling timing up a pitch, I can see the hitter pretty well and I can at least see his stride. And the whole point of this is to know that as soon as that foot starts coming forward, I got to be ready to hit, meaning I've got to be prepared to swing that bat. And so mentally speaking, it gets you much more ready if you're helping yourself time pitches with the hitter's stride. So you can see what I'm talking about there. So I was just late on a fly ball, or I was just late on a fastball, which caused me to fly out to center field. It gives me a good chance to show you why I was late. And so let's take a look real quick. And, and so basically what we're looking at here is Otani's toe tap goes and that heel hits the ground. And you can see I was disconnected. This is so easy to look at, especially if you compare it to Mike Trout. So when that heel goes down, boom, I should have been swinging because now I'm going to be just out in front. But because I haven't yet, look at how now he's almost doing a whole nother animation. It's not fluid anymore. And so then he swings. He's just late. Now, it wasn't a terrible ball. You could still argue that the swing was solid and it was, but he was just a little bit late compare it to and if we compare that to mike trout who was just early you're going to see a fascinating comparison here of when that foot hits the ground for trout and i do start that swing he gets out in front of it and he hits it with much more authority so even though shohei otani still barrels this ball because i was late you can tell it's even it's disconnected so because i was late here even though I get decent barrel on this, like my PCI is in a good spot, it's hitting the ball well, because I'm late, I'm not hitting the ball as hard anymore. And so that's the key, that's what I'm talking about. One other really important thing about hitting an MLB The Show is pitch location. If the pitch is on the outside, your good timing window will be a little bit later than if the pitch is inside. Just like in real life, you have to get out in front of the ball when it's inside versus waiting back when it's on the outside. So I'll show you a couple swings of both outside and inside timing windows. I wanna show you those pictures, some perfect perfects on each side. Here's what a perfect perfect looks like from an outside pitch. And then here's what a perfect perfect looks like on an inside pitch. So you can see I had to be at different time timing angles um, but perfect perfect isn't everything and for example I'm going to show you a home run off Jacob deGrom in batting practice where it was not perfect perfect uh, in fact this is what I've been talking about all video it's so important to be a little bit early on pitches Don't forget to subscribe because this is what Otani thinks if you subscribe. He's very happy. He gets very happy if you subscribe. This is somebody who just subscribed and he's very happy that they did that. So you can see he, he is strutting around uh, because you subscribed. This is what he thinks people who did.